Uh, welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Metopia on the Nintendo Switch. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Me, on the other hand, I'm not having a fantastic day right now. It is currently a heat wave in England, and it is currently 34 degrees in my room, and I am sweating my balls off. I can feel the sweat slowly trickling down my forehead right now. So if I look like a sweaty mess, I do apologize. <laughs> but what happened in the previous video is we carried on adventuring through the skyscraper heading towards the Darker Lord Gandalf. Now the Darker Lord Gandalf told me a few videos ago that he was going to summon a few familiar faces to slow me down as I slowly progressed towards the Darker Lord Gandalf. And then our dear friend, the Dark Lord, Gan uh, the Dark Lord Neo Cortex appeared once again and we had to battle him. Now after defeating him, he turned back into to Neo Cortex again and he has offered me his help so he's now going to be joining us throughout the skyscraper here and helping us battle many many enemies now the problem with the ex Dark Lord Neo Cortex even though he's helping me all he does is throw these little rocks at the enemies and it only does one damage so having Neo Cortex with you is not very useful he does no damage whatsoever but I decided to let him redeem himself and tag along for the journey but let's get straight into things now, once again, I did a few outings off camera, and I think I built up the bond between um, T-Wolf and Priest David, and I also sent Tom Wolf and Macabre out on a few adventures as well. Um, I also ate a metric ton of food. I think I had like 30 pieces of food, so all of my characters right now have had a nice buff, so we are completely ready for some adventuring. Now, I'm not too sure who we should take on an adventure with us today. I think we had Macabre, didn't we? No, we had Tom Wolf. So at the moment, Tom Wolf is level 15, Macabre's level 15. So I think what we're going to do today is I think we will take. I think we will leave Gabby behind and we will bring Rob with us and we will bring Keely and we will bring Sora and we will let Rob start leveling himself up a little bit. I want to try and get them all to level 15. We're doing pretty well at the moment. I mean, T Wolf is level 16. So we've got, we've got enough time to get them all to level 15. I think they should probably be about level 17 to be completely honest, but I think level 15 should be good enough. I know when I did the battle with Darker Lord Gandalf off camera, I think some of my characters were as low as level 10, so it was really bad for me. So having them all at level 15, I reckon that should be good enough. Yeah, I reckon that'll be good enough. Plus I've got better classes this time around as well. Alright, so I think it might be in the next area, but eventually you're going to come to a level where you're going to have two different routes you can take, and one of them's got a lever. Make sure you take that route, because if you, take, if you don't take that route and you don't pull that lever, you might get a bit stuck not knowing where to go next, because that lever actually opens up the uh, doorway that leads on uh, through the rest of the skyscraper. So if you pick the way that has like chests, don't do it, or you have to redo the level again to get the lever. What? Do we just get separated again? How many times are we going to be separated by rock slides? This is like the fourth time this has happened now. This is becoming pathetic. <laughs> I can't level up certain characters whilst I've got small crews like this. It makes it a lot more difficult. Where did everybody go? Where did everyone go, I should say? That's the heat exhaustion sinking in. <laughs> well, nothing for it but to keep going. I suppose we can have a, I suppose we can level up two people like this, so it might be a benefit for me, really. The team was split in two, again. I don't get how this random rock slides in the middle of a skyscraper that I'm assuming has only recently been built. Like this, uh, this skyscraper must have only been just built by the Darker Lord Gandalf, so it's got to be a relatively new building. And why would there be random rocks falling from the ceiling? The ceiling's going to be made of like marble or something. It makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> it's not like his hidden lair is inside a cave. Same thing with Neo Cortex's castle. How the hell was there a rock slide from a castle? It, ma it made no sense. If their like lair was a cave or a volcano, fair enough. But it makes no sense. <laughs> it really annoys me. It's a shame you can't upgrade your shield sprinkles and your hyper sprinkles, make them more effective, or maybe you know, increase the amount of shields you can use. But I suppose that might make the game a bit too easy. Right, so it looks like we're gonna be... I guess we'll be bringing... I guess we'll take 
Priest. I guess we'll bring Priest David then. He's going to probably end up dead in about one hit, so <laughs> there's no point bringing T-Wolf, even though he's going to do a lot of damage now. He's higher level, but we, won't, we need to level up. It's probably going to be good like this, actually. We might be able to get a few levels for a few characters today. We've also got Neo Cortex with us as well. This team's a bit more uh, stronger because we've got Sonic with us and we've got Neo Cortex. Thanks for all the healing. Why all of a sudden? I just think clerics are great. You do so much good for everyone. Ah, uh, it's not that big a deal. So, think you could fix my bad back? <laughs> I'm not here to give out massages. Ah, oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is pretty much what it's like when you play any MMO in history. If you are a healer, nobody ever appreciates you until they want something. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. UFO is brilliant. Oh, this ain't going to be good. They're going to steal all of my bananas. Thankfully, I've got a million bananas thanks to our dear friend, the Quizmaster, who always rewards me with bunches of bananas instead of anything good. <laughs> Oh, well, that's good. At least they didn't nick my bananas. I'm sure the other one will, though. Oh, no. I'm not, my, not nicking my bananas for a change. That's good. Uh, let's use Hot Shot. Sweet. Jesus. Bloody hell. Is it? What, really? Let's see, one damage. Why did they do that? Why did they do that? <laughs> Poor Dark Lord Neo Cortex. Did Sora really need healing? I don't think she did. I think she had plenty of health. There we go. Good old Sonic's here to help me out. I think out of all of the things that they showed with the recent trailer of Elden Ring, I think the thing that excites me the most is that like weird goat horse that you get to ride. Because it looks like it's got a ton of agility and you can do some cool stuff for it if going by that trailer. Yeah, it's completely accurate. Sometimes they show stuff in trailers that's just very exaggerated. But if the, uh, if the horse goat thing can do all of the stuff that it was doing in that trailer, I reckon Elden Ring is going to be sublime. I mean, it's going to be sublime anyway, but it's going to be even better. <laughs> Man, I cannot wait for Elden Ring. Definitely going to start off 2020 right in way with a lot of dying in Elden Ring. Didn't give me any extra uh, experience this time though, no bonus XP. I reckon about three or four more videos and we should actually reach the Darker Lord Gandalf. I've actually got there a bit quicker than I was expecting. Oh look, Bone Biscuits. I think Beowulf likes them. I think they give you uh, attack and health maybe I thought he was going to fall down a hole then <laughs> who turned the lights off where'd everybody go uh, I look to the left I guess is anyone there what are you two doing? Yeah, I want to know what you two are doing as well. What's all this lovey-dovey stuff in the dark? What's going on here then? What's going on here then? Is there some sort of secret relationship nobody's told me about? <laughs> you two need to behave. This should hit very hard. Oh, that was beautiful. Shame you didn't get the Banshees first, though. Bloody hell, look at these two. God, there's definitely something going on between Sora and Gabby. <laughs> nice, that was a good heal, that was. There's a shame there isn't like any like heal over time effects that you can have with any of the characters. Like, it's, like if uh, like the flower class. It'd be, it's a shame that they can't learn like some stuff that just heals you over time. Wish there was more things like that. More like damage over time effects and uh, heal over time effects in this game. I think that'd be pretty nice. G 
Jesus! <laughs> Everyone's being very assisting today, I like it. Because we've had a few videos where everybody's done nothing but fight. What, he did four damage then? Bloody hell, normally it only hits for one. Man, Neo Cortex is becoming more powerful. <laughs> Look at the state of him, he looks like a random fisherman, doesn't he? I get like a fisherman vibe from him. Oh come on, give me bonus experience. I've got to level up Priest David. He hits like a little baby at the moment. Oh, we're already back at the inn. Oh no. <laughs> a letter from Mario. Oh, free outing tickets. Shame nobody wants to give me game tickets anymore. Probably because that would help me get a nice piece of armour and I don't want the game to become easier for me. Oh lovely, lend a hand too, very nice. I'm trying to get everybody to a relationship of level 4 way and most people are relatively close to it now. Why? Don't visit T-Wolf's room, it'll probably kill you again. Sweet. Let's get this very nice peacock weapon for Priest David. And he bought it as well. Very nice. He definitely needs to get some armor upgrades though, because at the moment I think his armor is basically like only two or three upgrades into the uh, tree, so he's still got really crappy armor. Oh, we ain't got enough for that. Alright, let's go everybody. Uh, we, we won't bother going towards that chest yet. We can easily come back after. Wait till we've got all of our normal team members back together. I don't really trust going up to the chests in this place because it seems like there's one or two chests but like 50 battles of enemies. So uh, it's not really that much of a reward to be honest. Oh no. Hope they don't start stealing all of my mana. That's the worst thing about these banshees. This should be good. Sweet, 93 in the bar. Flipping hell, good job, Beowulf. Alright, good. Oh no, here we go. Oh, at least they picked uh, Gabby. She's got tons of mana. Let's just do a normal attack. Whoa! <laughs> We're getting some really good hits now. Yeah, go on, Cortex. Yeah, that's it. Go on, Cortex. His, his flipping damage is quadrupled. I've never seen him do four damage. He always did one damage uh, when I played this off camera. Never seen him hit more than one. <laughs> It's funny seeing him as part of the team. Lovely. Right, give us a bonus experience. Oh, what's this? Learn blindfold. Pretend not to notice enemy attacks that inflict status effects. That's pretty good. So when they do stuff like nightmare and things like that, that try and make me lose control of my character. Lovely, that could be pretty useful. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's very hot today, so I don't think Sonic is uh, feeling very cold at all. <laughs> I still can't believe it. What? That I was the Dark Lord. And I made so many people suffer. So you remember. Only vaguely. But I had no control over my own body. All I could do was watch the Dark Lord's evil doings. That must have been tough. Ah, oh, poor Neo Cortex. All he wants to do is take over the world and steal all of the purple crystals, but then he was taken over by some weird wisp-like character that forced him to do unspeakable things, like steal people's faces. That's not very nice. I mean, Neo Cortex, he is a bad guy, but he's not that much of a bad guy. 
Mine and Jimmy Crash Bandicoot 4 is a son of a bitch, Theo Cortex. Absolute son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't even know what you tripped over. This floor is pure... I really hate how that laugh sounds. That laugh is really bad. That annoys me so much. <laughs> what did you even slip up? Like, I would understand if they slipped, but they tripped. Purely smooth floor with nothing on it, and you just tripped over air. Ah, oh, these snowflakes are a bit of a nightmare, aren't they? These purple crystals. I remember them taking quite a lot to kill. Then they hit actually quite hard. Nice. Yeah, they do hit quite hard. Mind you, Priest David is very weak. He takes a lot of damage. Be good if they all just, like, tried to hit Beowulf. And they quickly use sprinkles to stop Sora from eating all the bananas. While I'm at it, might as well pop out some of the mana. There we go. Okay. Guess we'll use the laser. This doesn't seem to really hit that hard. When you compare my laser ability to things like... Uh... Oh, <laughs> well that was good. When you compare my laser to like the uh, unstable uh, potion ability of the scientist or the uh, mega explosion ability of the mages, my lasers do basically no damage. It really sucks. Sweet. <laughs> Come on, Sora, give it a. Oh, if you had, oh, I don't think she's got enough mana. If she had done a double scratch, they would have died. I like Sora's weapons. Look at Priest David, look at the state of him. <laughs> We're getting a lot of gold, though, that's one good thing. So if you want to get lots of cool upgrades for your characters, if you just replay these uh, levels over and over again, you'll just get tons of money. And you'll level up your characters a lot. And if you want to get all of the medals in this game, then you have to do it anyway. I'm not sure what the maximum levels are, though. I wonder what the max level is in this game. We've got to assume it's like... Maybe 30 or something? It can't be too high. Ah, finally. Please buy this, Priest David. You need it. It's good for you. Alright, good boy. Come oh, man. Look at the state of this. Don't buy it, Beowulf. I don't even mind. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't actually want to wear that. That looked bad. I have all love hearts all over me. Yeah, we ain't got enough for that. Alright, let's set off. Hopefully we can reunite our team before the end of this video. I've got about 13 minutes, so it's unlikely. Seems like they're going to all be separated for a while by the looks of things. to take all my bananas before we get to the Darker Lord Gandalf, because we're going to need those bad boys. They're going to be very important. <laughs> it was only a matter of time. Oh, it was only a matter of time. We've gotten pretty lucky so far. None of my attacks really seem to hit very hard, except the human cannonball. And if I use that, then we have nothing but arguments, so it's not the best thing to use. Very nice. It's good when Sonic helps out people like Priest David, because they hit so weakly, it's just nice to have that extra damage. Oh no, not again. 
Oh, come on. That is six bananas we've lost in like the last 20 seconds. Very nice. <laughs> oh, sweet. Oh, what's that? Still grub. Snatch food from... Oh, no, this is a really bad move, actually. I remember this. This actually ruined Sora's class for me. Because she keeps on and on trying to steal food items from the characters instead of doing damage, and there's no way of stopping it. Yeah, this was a really, really horrible move. And there's no way of stopping her from doing it. She wastes it, and she, most of the time she doesn't even get no items from it. Yeah, this is a really... Oh, man, this ain't good. I would have preferred to have just, like... Stop bringing her with me so she didn't level up. <laughs> oh, that's not good. I mean, we need, to, we need to find a way of like being able to stop them from using certain moves. Maybe there is. Maybe I'm just being really dumb. Oh, no. It's Princess Peach and King Fat Princess. <laughs> How did they lose their faces again? Couldn't this wait until after dinner? Oh, dearie me. Oh, shit. So look, the monkey Princess Peach is back again. And we also know that Fat Princess. Yeah, strong Fat Princess Gollum. <laughs> and Gold General Peach. So yeah, they're back, but they're stronger. <laughs> All right. I don't know who was the worst one. I think it might have been the monkey, to be honest. I don't remember Fat Princess Gollum being bad. Just don't steal their food, okay? Especially King Fat Princess. He'll get very angry. Good job. Oh. Oh, come on. I really hate how they get multiple turns. It aggravates me so much. I'm going to pop a shield on everybody. And I'm also going to make my sister go hyper, aka Gabbit. Okay. So you can go hyper. And you can go hyper as well, because you don't do any damage. There we go. I suppose we better focus on Fat Prince, um, King Fat Princess first. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, look at that. 71 from Gabby is ridiculously high. <laughs> uh, I don't think she is okay. She just got punched in the face by a gorilla. I don't think anybody would be okay from something like that. I reckon that would uh, definitely kill you. Oh man, King Fat Princess is nearly dead. And Blue Flames from Sonic. Look at that. Well done, Sonic. I mean, it's, it's appropriate that Sonic does a blue a blue flame ability anyway. Considering he's pretty much renamed after Sonic the Hedgehog, who is blue and runs so fast, he would probably leave blue flames behind him. Now, Sonic is such a cool character. I'm not really a fan of the Sonic games, but Sonic himself is just such a cool damn character, ain't he? Good, Gabby. Well done. We definitely need to keep uh, Priest David safe because he's got terrible armor still. I just really hope that uh, Dark Lord, uh, well, it's not the Dark Lord anymore. I hope Neo Cortex can get the final hit. I just think it'll be funny if he manages to kill somebody with just throwing one pebble at them, doing one damage, and still manages to get the killing blow. That'd be funny. Oh, no, we got the killing blow, Beowulf. <laughs> well, that went pretty damn well, actually, considering we've got a rubbish character like Priest David with us. Are we alive? I mean, technically not. We just killed your body. Thank you so much. Oh, you shouldn't be thanking me. You shouldn't thank me with how horrendous I made your face look. <laughs> Apologies for all the stuttering and bad commentary today. I'm just really boiling hot at the moment. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a bit rough at the moment to be recording, but I need to get the videos done. <laughs> so hopefully the commentary ain't too bad, but yeah, I'm roasting. And all of the technology being turned on is making the uh, temperature rise in this room. 
And obviously I'm not rich, I don't have air conditioning. <laughs> sweet. Oh, double sweet. Look at the state of Princess Peach. The royal countenance is restored again. Isn't it wonderful, Papa? You saved our royal bacon again. You have our thanks. Oops. Blast that infernal Dark Lord. Or should we say, Darker Lord. The fight isn't over yet. But if anyone can do it, you can. Good luck. Oh no no much much. Farewell. I said oops because I accidentally made Princess Peach sound like King Fan Princess. <laughs> oh thank you Gabby. I have got pretty damn nice hair and I <laughs> You can't see it because I'm wearing a tank outfit. Oh sweet! For some game tickets. Now we can win some terrible mana sweets or bananas. No, 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 no. You're not visiting no one. No, you ain't visiting no one, mate. You can stay in your room and shut up. Oh, man, everybody needs to buy the heart outfits. That looks very nice, though. We'll just go with pink. She got quite a lot of defense, actually. All right, let's have a quick look on here, see if there's anything good. A ritual staff, that's gonna be for Gabby, ain't it? An alien gummy sweets. Yeah, we're, we're gonna wait. We'll wait until everybody's back together again, then we'll use the game tickets, or I might just do it off camera. Actually, I'll do it now, because I ain't gonna have enough time to set off again. The ritual staff would be pretty good to, to win. Don't do it! I knew it, see? <laughs> I knew it! It's either alien gummy sweets or the staff. That's the only options. Are oh, you fucker. Oops. Well, we got a bunch of uh, delicious alien gummy sweets, I guess. <laughs> well, that was a complete waste of time. All right, well, thanks for watching Wolf Morbit. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.